us, what people dying in the world is today? Yes. It's religion. No. It's not. It's religion. More people die of religion. Can you speak louder? More people die of religion every year than of anything else. You can look that up. Now I got a question for no, you. No, I'd just like to answer what you said, okay? Just give me a minute, will you, David? Okay, go ahead. Encyclopedia of Wars said up until the year 2004, there were 1,763 wars in history. 92% were secular, not religious. 8% were religious. Two-thirds of the 8% were Islamic wars. I will have to agree to disagree. I think you're a little off on your facts. Well, you've got to go and see the Encyclopedia of Wars. I'll, I'll check it out. Uh, Please check it out because you're telling a lie. Let me ask you a question. Yes, David. I've always wondered this. Let's say somebody was born on an island, right? And they never got to hear about Jesus Christ. Born, lived their life, died. Do they go to heaven or do they go to hell for eternity? Which one? Well, here's the answer. No one goes to hell because they haven't heard about Jesus. They go to hell for lying and stealing, which is a hard thing to do when you're by yourself on an island, okay? But I can't think of anyone that's on an island by themselves except Robinson Crusoe, who was a Christian, who believed in God's providence. Okay? But, there, but there is tribes, Aboriginal tribes. Okay, well, let's go to an Aboriginal tribe instead of one man on an island. Okay. People in Aboriginal tribes like the Incas, Aborigines, people in the deepest Africa or deepest America won't go to hell because they haven't heard of Jesus. They go to hell for lying, stealing, murder, adultery, cruelty. You know, they eat each other. That's wrong to kill someone and eat them. They'll, go, they'll get exactly what they deserve. If they haven't sinned, they'll be fine. But if they have, God will give them justice. That's why we send missionaries. You send missionaries to give them a choice. Yes. And then if they make the choice to not believe in them, they're going to die and perish in hell. No, that's not Where right. If they were on an island and they never heard of Jesus and didn't commit adultery because there's nobody else there, they'd go to heaven. So why don't we send the missionaries to give them a choice to send up having more That's people not true. You missed what I'm saying. They are condemned already according to the Bible. They're under God's wrath because of their lying and stealing and According lust Bible, and fornication okay. and adultery and murder and rape. They're under His wrath, His just wrath. But a missionary goes to say, you can be forgiven your sins. David, what's the first of the Ten Commandments, do you know? The first of the Ten Commandments? Yeah, you should well, know. Well, you don't, there actually is 11 commandments. What's right? the first of the Ten? I don't know. This is it. You shall have no other gods before me. Man is continually making up his own God in his own image. Before I was a Christian, David, I made up, made up a God I was comfortable with. And that's what man does. He veers towards idolatry like a moth, to, moth towards a flame. And when we make up a God in our own image, which is what you're talking about, we make a God who has no moral demands. But you have to face the Creator. There's only one God. He's holy and perfect and righteous. He considers lust to be adultery, How do you prove that? hatred to be prove murder. It. I don't have to. You know why? Why? Because you've got a conscience. Your conscience no, affirms your conscience the truth. Is what your family has taught you from a young age is what they consider right and wrong. A man in Africa was brought up by wolves. He comes to New York. He's never been taught right from wrong. He rapes and kills a woman. And when he stands in front of the judge, he said, Judge, no one taught me right from wrong. I've never spoken to anyone before brought up by wolves. The judge is going to throw him in jail. You know why? Yeah. Because every one of us intuitively gave a conscience, whether we're taught it or not. It's God-given and society shaped. Conscience means with knowledge. David, Jesus said whoever looks at a woman and lusts for her has committed adultery when already Jesus with her that? in his heart. Did sure Jesus said that? Or did somebody who interpreted so, what Jesus told them and wrote it out in the Bible to Matthew, Mark, Luke, Have you ever done that, David? I've ever done what? Looked at a woman with lust. Yeah, because you want to know why? Because I don't want to know evolution, why. Evolution, right? We have primal instincts to see circuits, to search out shelter over our heads, food, and water. They're the basic things that humankind to reproduce. We have urges that everyone has. The video will continue in a few seconds, but I wanted to remind you to please subscribe to our channel and click on the notifications bell. And don't forget to like, comment, and share. Thank you. You're going to die, you're going to stand before God, and God's going to hold you accountable Says for you. your sins. Says You've got you. God's word on it. It's appointed God's a man once to die, and after this, the judgment. And David, you don't realize this, but I care about you, and I don't want you to end up in hell. God provided a Savior. That was the person of Jesus Christ who took the punishment for the sin of the world on the cross. Says you, but we can't prove it. Yes, you can.
Of okay. course you can prove if it. If you died and come back and told me, hey, I saw heaven, I believe it. That's not the proof we're talking about. Little boy, I need your attention, okay? Little boy was looking at a heater, and his dad said, don't touch the heater, it's hot. Kid believed it's hot. Reaches out his hand and grabs the heater bar and burns his flesh. He no longer believes it's hot. He knows it's hot. He's moved out of the realm of belief into the realm of experience. David, if you obey the gospel, you no longer believe in God. You experience God. You come to know Him. You're born again. New heart, new desires. You pass from death to life, from darkness to light. And that's the proof God will give you. Gives you. The Bible says you'll receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you. But you, but and you that's know what I'm I've saying. I've a good life and I don't lie, cheat, and steal. My life is going to prosper. Your, good your eyes are full of adultery, David, like the rest of us. You're like the rest of us. You I love lusting after really women, and the Bible says you commit adultery in your heart when you do that. And don't God's going to hold you accountable. You don't have to believe that, right? Your life will be good, man. Just live a good life. Be a good person. Love and be loved, man. Just do good to others, and everything will be okay. Man. Quoting Jesus I now. That. I'll handle it. He's mine. All right. You don't have to push. You don't have to stand on a box and push religion down people's throats. It's not going down their throats. They're here by their own will.